All right, it is time for the bosses. Everybody's to 48. Um, this guy should be a regular grunt. He's a regular grunt in base game. And then you go to the other levels or whatever. And then there's executives. Three executives. And if we have time afterwards, uh, I think we'll go ahead over towards Ice Path. See what's going on there. Um, hmm. I was thinking about throwing... Well, okay. I guess this is the time to Ice Fang, right? This is what we want is a check of Ice Fang on the ground type. Get a sense of how useful this is. Not quite a kill. Goes for Thrash. That's all it's got. We resist that because we're rock. Nothing. Okay. I was going to say, I kind of want to... What I'm going to do for the bosses, at least, is put Breloom in front. And I was thinking about just starting out with Breloom in front. But then I'd have to redo the overlay, and I don't want to do that. So I led with Aerodactyl just so I don't have to change the overlay between episodes. Wowee. Um, we're locked into Ice Fang, and I don't want to take a uh, grass move here. So this is just a Charizard swap. Crunch? Crunch? Why crunch? That's so strange. Alright, grunt down. So, um, there's a PC in this building. Which means we can get cheese heels on the PC. I looked it up and it works in this generation. So unfortunately, uh, so let's talk about the doing roots and dungeons in one go rule I implemented. The big reason I implemented that is I thought this situation exactly here, exactly what I'm doing on screen right now, where you do a battle and then you run off to go heal. This is what I wanted to avoid. I don't do the, like the route locking style thing necessarily for difficulty as much as I do it for pacing. However, I am going to take my rules very, very uh, literally in this case and conserve healing items by exploiting this box that's conveniently in this dungeon. Oops. And if you don't like it, um, write me an angry letter in the comments and let me know. Because unfortunately, it's going to happen after every battle we do. Um, although I might cut it out uh, in the future points. I just want to talk about it here and get my thoughts on that. Um, I think for any run I do in the future, that's always just going to be a rule that we have to do a route in one go. Um, just just so the content's a little bit more digestible and we don't spend so much time running back. Uh, we get an item after we beat this guy. So this should be Proton. So yeah, I'm going to lead Breloom and see if we get a window to set up. Because um, I think that's our... So I think our best bet for getting through three bosses with no losses, haha, -ha, is if we can get a window to set Breloom up against them. Even if just one of them we can get off the setup, it, it'd be worth it. Yeah, full teams, that's what I figured. I don't like seeing that, not one fucking bit. Not one fucking bit, um, shit. I don't know how we fight Electrodes consistently, honestly. Like, without Graveler now, how the fuck do we consistently fight Electrodes? Like, what do we do? Um, does Lady by chance resist Electric? I don't think so. I never, Steel has so many resistances, I never really remember them, no. We really need a ground type back on the team. Breloom resists electric because of the grass typing. Do you think he's going to go straight into an explosion because we resist electric? (sighs) 
See, we could go to Flashbang, but Flashbang... It's gonna be slower and it's not gonna kill this in time. The only thing that beats electric is ground. So we just have to fight this like in a 1v1 fair fight, which is awful. It's gonna be faster than prior tuck. Damn it, this is tough. What if I go Lady? Let's assume it's not gonna do an electric move and I can go Lady. If it self-destructs, Lady can take that because she's steel, right? And then Lady might be able to get an attack off and soften it up so Zara can cleanly finish it. God damn it, it's the first Mon and we're already like, having an issue. Losing Graveler hurt. Excuse me? Excuse me. Rain Dance. Rain Dance. So is this like a Rain Dance Thunder set or is it setting up Rain Dance for other mons in the team? If it's gonna do Thunder, well, now I think we got to go, we almost assuredly have to switch to Lantern, right? Because now we're going to take a Thunder with perfect accuracy. There's no way this thing doesn't have Thunder, right? If it has Rain Dance, it's definitely got Thunder. That's definitely what's happening. Go to Flashbang, we get a boosted Surf off. If it does not die, we can switch to Zara. Zara will survive a Thunder. And then we can kill with a priority move. And Zara will also dodge the explosion. We have to risk Lantern here for a turn. Unless it explodes immediately because it can't Thunder us. Oh fuck, do you think it does that? Okay, let's we'll pivot, we'll pivot, we'll pivot, we'll pivot. This works. We go to Zara right now to see if it wants to explode because we dodged Thunder. That's the play. We see what it wants to do. We scout. It uses protect. Okay. One other move left. Do we just stand on Zara now? It's not going to self-destruct this turn. It's thundered once. I wonder if we two-shot this with Sucker Punch. We Sucker Punch, take a thunder, and then Sucker Punch. Let's find out. This is worth checking. That's pretty good. We take this, we take this, and then we kill a Sucker Punch no matter what. Okay, okay, easy, easy, no problem. Crit wasn't even lethal. I wasn't 100% sure we dodged the crit there, honestly. Um, but I, I think it was a risk worth taking. Okay, this is fine. That's fine. Ooh, Aftermath. That could have fucked us over. Fuck, I hate Aftermath. That was an argument for beating it with Lantern. A wheezing? Do we... Do we take a sludge bomb here? Do we have to heal? We want to fight wheezing with this. Oh, his whole team's like explosion mons. Shit. Fucking shit. I don't know that we take a sludge bomb. If we go to late, okay, if he goes, he goes, let's say he goes for a stab poison move here for maximum damage. We go to lady, we take no damage from the poison. 
Lady scouts for earthquake or explosion or something from it. Lady takes an explosion from a wheezing. I think Lady's safe here. I think. We can go for like a dragon pulse kill maybe? It's got thunder. Why does it have thunder? We gotta risk it. We still think we're safe from an explosion. I don't know if we are. We're not safe from crit probably, but I think we gotta risk it. I don't know what else to do. Cause Zara's too weak now to swap back in. Thunder, as long as we take it, we're good. We kill a Dragon Pulse. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Take it, we take it, we take it, we take it. Yes, no, the para. Okay, okay, um. Is it going to self-destruct when it sees a kill? Fuck, I don't know how the AI works. Does it self-destruct if it sees a kill with another move? I can't swap into somebody if it self-destructs here because it's at low HP. So what I have to do is I have to heal. Um, did we heal once this battle already? I don't think we did. I don't think we did, right? Because I was thinking about it on Zara, but I didn't do it. We'll heal up Lady here to see what it does, if it self-destructs or not. It still goes for Thunder. I believe this will be safe. Uh, unless it's out of thunders. No, it's like four or something. This can be fine. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine. Yes! Go fuck yourself, Weezing. Okay, okay, okay. Fucking two mons in already and it's sweaty as fuck. <sighs> Cacturn. Grass Dark. We fight it with a fighting type. Can we try to set up Breloom against this? Maybe. It goes for like a grass move here. Yeah, because we can't bring in Lady because she's parried. We could just go to Tembo and try to kill it that way. I want to try and set up Fire Tug. I'm not afraid of a Cacturn, I don't think. So let's try for a setup. Needle arm, fine. Yep, fine. Let's go for a bulk up. We're faster, that's good to know. Hopefully that's not a, ooh, focus blast. Um, does that matter? That's fighting. Uh, focus blast is high damage though. I don't think we can risk that. I think we just go for the drain punch kill. I don't think we yeah, I don't think we can risk the focus blast cuz it's not physical. The crit probably kills us regardless, right? Cuz it's high base power. Hopefully we can fight whatever comes in next with just the one bulk up. Probably not when he's got 3 mods. Yeah, Crobat's going to have flying for me. I have a berry but it's not worth staying in because we don't have anything effective against it. We're not set up enough. We can go into Flashbang or Brennan. Brennan makes more sense, I think. We'll one-shot this with a rock move. Brave Bird, damn, good thing we went arrow. We resist this because we're rock. Yeah, taking two Brave Birds on Lantern would have been really bad. This was 100% the right call. Because I'm pretty sure we just kill this right here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Good, 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 good. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Like to see it. Tauros. Okay, it can't Earthquake us. 
intimidates us. 111 is not bad, and we're strength. We're rock for the normal moves. I'm expecting like earthquake. Do we stay in? What fucks us over? Ice. Taurus doesn't have ice coverage, right? Rock? Maybe? Um, fuck. I think we gotta try and fight it with Arrow just because we're so fast. And we dodge Earthquake. I mean, maybe we even kill it, but I don't think so. Oh my god, it's not even a two-shot. Zen Headbutt. Psychic, but it's physical. We should be fine. Not not that fine, but we're okay. Do you think it's Zen Headbutts again and we could sneak Zara in here? I don't know if we can risk that. Um, Can we sneak Friar Tuck in here? Zen Headbutt's really bad for him, though, actually, so we can't pull that off. How do we fight a Tauros? How do we fight a fucking Tauros, dude? 110 speed? Holy shit. If we go to Flashbang, we're running the risk of it having... Earthquake. So what do we do? We go Charizard and we hope Flamethrower kills? It is 70 defense versus 95 special defense. Um, Flamethrower is going to be stronger than this rock attack we just... No, we have, we're banded on Arrow. Flamethrower still might kill. Higher damage, worse special defense. I don't think it will. I don't think Flamethrower kills. I think it's close, but I don't think it does it. Which means we need Friar Tuck to do something, but we can't come in on a Zen Headbutt. And we're probably not faster either. We can go to Lady, but then we're back to Earthquake being a thing. Assuming it even has Earthquake. We could check for Earthquake by going to Flashbang and then to Tembo. That might work. Well, if we're gonna do that, we just go to Lady. Because Lady's kind of out of commission anyway. We keep Flashbang healthy for the last Mon. Let's try that. We'll go to Lady here. She can take a Zen Headbutt. If Arrow took one, Lady takes it, no problem. Another Zen Headbutt. That's what I figured. Lady's got this. Lady's stronger than Arrow. And it's steel. Yep, nice and easy. And then this is how we find out if there's an earthquake, because there is an earthquake inbound for sure. And then this gets Charizard a clean swap in. Charizard can kill with flamethrower times two if it's a clean entry. It is a clean entry. It did have earthquake. Called that shit. Tauruses always have earthquake, like in ROM hacks. It's just a rule. Tauros with earthquake. Um, we go for the flamethrower. We may kill. We may burn. Um, and we're really hoping it doesn't have a rock move. If it has a rock move, we have a berry and hopefully we survive. Almost kills. I said it would almost kill. Takedown recoil probably kills them, right? Whoo, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Camera up. We're not going to be swapping into a ground move and camera up slow as fuck, right? So we can safely just pivot to flashbang and kill it with a surf, right? Four times effective. The only concern would be like maybe amnesia again. Stone Edge. Ooh, good thing we swapped. I mean, we had to swap. We weren't going to stay in. Charizard didn't do anything against it. Um, thing is, if we don't kill this, we probably die to Earthquake now. If not in general. But okay, protect. That's fine. We're definitely faster. For sure. For sure. For sure. We're, we're four times effective. We kill this. It dies. There's no way a camera can take a surf. No way it takes this, right? No way. If I'm wrong, I die. Also, it's only 45. 
Okay. One boss down, no deaths. Good, good, good. That's what we need to see. Let's pick up an Ultra Ball. See if there's anything hidden here real quick. I hate that you can't click on it while you're moving. You have to stop moving to click the item finder. And then I'm going to go do the heal. I guess I'll pause. All right, so same basic plan. Lead Breloom, see if we can set up for a sweep. Jinx. Oh, man. Oh, man. We might one-shot that with a mock punch, honestly. It's we it's fucking paper. It's absolute fucking paper. Right? Jinx is like awful defense. Problem is if we don't kill it, we get completely fucked over. Is there a damage calculator online? 35 defense base for Jinx. Pokemon damage calculator. Okay. Uh... Breloom. I've never used one of these before. Hundred and sixty two attack. was that 162 there's a reason I don't use these uh, and it's that this takes goddamn forever to figure out hmm it seems like our, our IV is probably pretty bad on attack for Breloom if I'm interpreting this correctly adamant technician and then we want a jinx I've never this is fun I've never done this we want a Jinx. We want a Jinx at level 45. Okay, now how do I... How does this work? Okay, so it looks like Mock Punch is an, a guaranteed two-hit KO. I don't know how to read this. I don't understand what I'm looking at. Is this chance to kill? Must be. Mock Punch has an 82.6, 97.6. I don't know how this calculator works. But it looks like it doesn't kill. I'm really tempted to try it out just to know if I can trust the calculators. But let's not get into the mood of the mode of just using calculators for everything. It really bogs it down. Um, so if we don't fight this with Friar Tuck, it's probably going for a Psychic or Ice Beam. Zara can kind of take both and then just kill this with a Sucker Punch, I guess is the plan.
Nice, get the free swap in. I'll just go for Sucker Punch kill. Now this'll kill. Yeah, that was the call. Yeah, there was no point in trying to fight the Jinx with the Breloom. Because they're just going to send something else in to mop up Breloom. Melodic. What do we fight you with? Do I try to go for Hypnosis here before I swap out? Or do I just swap out and keep Zara healthy for other things? Hmm. Probably a water move coming in for Stab anyway. Uh, is Melodic... Which defense is better on Melodic? Malak is bad defense. 81 speed. Does Breloom outspeed this and kill it with Bullet Seed? I don't know. Breloom base speed is 70. Not looking great there. I guess we just go to Lucario, maybe? Mm, wait, no. Why would I go to Lucario? What am I talking about? I'd go to Flashbang. Um, what we can do is we can go to Flashbang, and then we can leave Friar Tuck as an emergency swap in to kill with Mock Punch or something. Or go for something else. Um, yeah, that's not bad. It's probably faster than us. I'm going to go for the Paralysis. Uh, it gets us free turns to heal as well. Oh, it's got Toxic. Fucking lame. Toxic on our fucking Lantern here sucks. That really sucks. Alright, we'll have to see what other moves it has. It'd be really nice if we could finish it off with a different mod. Get Lantern out of here before it takes too much damage. Wow, Discharge isn't even a two-shot. Melodic's a fucking tank. Well, we know that the special defense is good, so... It's just surfing. I think... If I do another Discharge, they might heal. What I think we do is I think we swap now to Friar Tuck. It's Parod. We're probably coming into a Surf. And since it's parrot, it's slower, and we can kill the bullet seed cleanly. Ooh, it uses rest. Interesting. This is an opportunity, actually. We can set up once and then go for bullet seed. Or do you think we need two bullet seeds to kill it? I think we need to kill this. I, th I don't think... Uh, I don't think we want to risk Toxic getting set on another Pokemon. Ooh, sleep talk, dude. Fuck off. Okay, rest, sleep talk. Toxic and Surf. It has one attacking move, which is Surf. Um, actually, we fight this with Riolu that, or with Lucario then, uh, because it negates Toxic entirely. Assuming we don't just kill it here, which it looks like we're on track to do. Not quite. Go for the Mock Punch, assuming it's going for. Sleep talk, and if it's healed, then we just get chip damage on it. Okay, Ariana uses a hyper potion. Fine. Okay, we can go for a bullet seed because we take a surf, and if we get toxic, oh well. And it may just wake up and fuck up with sleep talk. I don't know how smart the AI is. I also don't know how rest works if you disrupt the timing with a healing item, because it's supposed to wake up this turn. Still sleeping. Use the sleep talk. Was it not supposed to wake up this turn? No, I guess not. Okay, then it just spams rest again. Wasting its turn. Okay, that was a good die roll for us. We kill in two seeds that time? What the fuck? Really? It was three last time and it didn't kill, wasn't it? I don't know. 
All right, well, we got out of there with that Toxic on Fire Attack. Fire Attack is potentially in position to do something. Uh, not against the Haunch Crow. This is an easy swap to Aerodactyl, right? Expecting a Brave Bird. For sure a Brave Bird, and we know Arrow takes it from a Haunch. And then fights off the Haunch, no prob. This is easy, easy swap. Yep, called the Brave Bird. Good stuff. It's exactly like the other Haunch we saw. Uh, that's a crit? That's not a crit. Ooh, damn, that's not a crit? We might die to a crit. I think strength kills and we're faster. I think. We're still banded. This should kill, right? It killed the other haunch in one hit, but the other haunch wasn't 47. Also, this is 47. By going upstairs, did the levels jump by two? And if that's true, then we go upstairs again and the level's 50, which is higher level than the gym? That doesn't seem very right. Arbok, we get the Intimidate on us. Um, I'm anticipating, honestly, like a Gunk Shot or something. This might be time to do things with Lucario. Honestly, our team's in good shape right now. I think, yeah, we throw Lucario in here. It brought in Arbok for a reason. It thinks Arbok's its best thing to fight an Aerodactyl with. Which means potentially, okay, Thunderfang. Sure. That's nothing. That doesn't matter. Um, I think Dragon Pulse is our best bet. It's going to resist fighting, so we want to use one of the non-stab moves. Three shot. Ooh, Earthquake. That's not great. Arbok's not that strong, though. We should take this, hopefully, 130 to 56. Okay, we were dead to crit. It means we got to swap, but it means we know what he's going to do. He's going to go for another Earthquake. So we can swap Charizard in here, and Charizard for sure kills the Flamethrower when it's at half. There's no way an Arbok takes a Flamethrower. Yep, 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 yep. Free swap in. Nice, safe, clean. Flamethrower, kill, kill, kill. Destroy, murder. Excellent, 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 excellent. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay. And a Vile Plume. We just stay in. We just stay in a Flamethrower. Like, what does this have for us? Fucking nothing. What are you gonna do? Gunk shot me? Bring it on, bitch. We're probably just dead right here to a Flamethrower, right? Super effective. Very strong boy. Oh, ooh, Vile Plume hanging in there. Please, no poison. Please, no poison. Please and thank you, no poison. Holy Jesus, that damage, though. Uh, flamethrower in case of heal. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, good. Good, 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 good. One Mon left, and we're, the team's in okay shape. We'll probably have to swap out our Charizard at this point. He's taking 60% damage there, so... Per Ugly, we're looking at a normal type. Or unless it's normal dark or something weird, um, per ugly is. No, straight normal type. I'm thinking we fight it with a fighting type. Um, okay, if it's got anything for Tembo, it's going to be like rocks or something. Uh, we could try Zara. We could go to Zara to scout its moveset. I was thinking Friar Tuck. What's your speed, Prugly? Your speed is... Oh, you're fast. Yeah, we can't swap Fire, Fire Tuck and he'll take two hits before he gets off a Drain Punch. I think Zara's the play. Hopefully we dodge part of its move set. We can go for a Hypnosis or something, or just fight it off with priority moves. It wants to Hypnosis. Oh, well that's dirty as fuck. Hypnosis Protect. What else? Aerial Ace. Okay, good thing we didn't bring in Breloom. Holy shit, that would have been awful. All right, so we fight it with Dream Eater. We get it low enough to finish it off consistent with Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl can swap into an Aerial Ace without a second's hesitation.
Wow. Never mind. We'll just, uh, oh, she might heal? They didn't heal the last one, but maybe they didn't want to heal the same Mon twice or something like that? Um, we can't Shadow Snake because that's normal type. Go for the Dream Eater and hope it doesn't wake up. Okay, she does heal. Dream Eater was the right call. Cool, 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 cool. We got it then. I'm pretty sure. I feel pretty good about this. Wow, that's actually... I was hoping we'd do a little close to half, but no, that tracks. Dream Eater crit didn't kill. Um, do we go for a Dream Eater? He probably doesn't stay asleep. But I think he wants the Hypnosis. Well, the last thing it did do was Aerial Ace us. Hmm. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. Woke up. Uses Protect. Fine. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch again. We'll see if it goes for the Hypnosis or if it goes... Okay, it spams Protect. Why is it spamming Protect? Ah. Okay, we've never seen its fourth move, so it's probably normal type. We could probably go to Arrow. But there's also no reason not to just stay in Zara, because the thing doesn't do any fucking damage to us. Actually, yeah, we spam Sucker Punch and go for the Wake Up. For fuck's sake, dude. Right, because it goes for the hypnosis. Uh, I, shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have sucker punched after waking up. Is it gonna... Now it goes for aerial ace. What is the AI fucking doing with this progly? This is so ridiculous. Thank you. Kill it and get me out of this hell, please. All right, we just got to go for Hypnosis. We don't know what its other move is. Clearly, it doesn't hit Zara. It could be a Fighting-type move, which would hurt Arrow. So it, it doesn't make sense for us to swap out. It just doesn't. It just... This is the, this is the play. This is safe. We've got such a safety margin. There's no reason to swap out of Zara. Especially because it just sits there and protects spams, like... I mean, I guess we could have swapped to Arrow. If it go, if it gets put to sleep, we just swap back to Zara in that case. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's dead now. It's over and done with. Two execs down, no deaths. Good. This one wasn't as bad as the last one, I think. Is that true? I don't know. Yeah, the last one was sweatier for sure. Because of the electrode and wheezing in the beginning. This one was definitely easier. Levels are higher, though. Which is something we got to keep an eye on. I mean, we've committed. We can't fucking go out and grind. I guess we have rare candies, but... All right, uh, we're going to run downstairs and heal. Okay, so, Ariana, same plan. We lead with Breloom and try for a setup. Um, what is her team in base game? Oh, no, it's not Ariana. We just fought Ariana. We're fighting Archer. Archer's base game team is a Houndor? Um, fuck. Houndor's awkward because we could almost fight it. Except we're grass type. So we're running the risk of getting killed by fire when we try to do stuff. All right, Archer. We enter the danger zone. A Zangoose? We might be able to do something here. We might be able to do something here. This is perfect. Normal type physical attacker. Oof, close combat, dude, ow. Uh, that's a lot of damage. <sighs> Sucks that it's faster than us. Sixty damage there. The crit kills us. If we pull Friar Tuck out of this battle, we never get to use him again here. 
He's just too weak to swap in at that point. We almost have to swap, right? We can't, we can't risk it. Because we have Zara as the free block for close combat. I think we just have to. It's too risky. Yeah, free swap in on the close combat. We'll just go for a Sucker Punch, see if we kill it. Ghosts are disabled, disable Sucker Punch. You fucking ass. You fucking shit. Shadow Claw. Not great. Nice hypnosis though. Hopefully we can do a Dream Eater to top back off. And then if we're lucky, either he doesn't wake up or we get our move uh, back undisabled. So Sucker Punch still disabled. Yeah. Okay, that was a really weirdly long hang there, so I thought it took my fucking turn away from me, which was going to piss me off. Okay, we just get a Dream Eater kill. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I mean, why would I not be okay with that? We killed it. Nothing bad happened and we killed it. That's what we want to do. That's the whole... That's the plan. That's, that's the dream. Um, Gyarados. Do we want to do anything on the way out here with Zara? Probably not. We want to try and take this out with Flashbang, obviously. Do we think this has like Earthquake? I mean, there's no other play, right? We just have to go Flashbang. Go for the Discharge kill. Discharge should one-shot it. Oh, bounce? Ooh, bounce. Are we faster or slower? That's a really big difference here. Bounce is flying type, right? Hold on. Bounce is flying type, base power 85. I don't want to take a bounce. Because I don't... Shit. Gyarados, base speed is 81. Lantern base speed is 67. We should be slower, but We are, are we plus speed nature on this lantern or something? Or are we plus defense? I can't actually check in battle, and that's really aggravating. <sighs> 85 speed. I think we're fairly fast on this lantern, either through nature or through IVs. We've, sp we've outsped other things that I haven't expected to outspeed. I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I don't want to take a bounce, but I end up swapping into something anyway. Okay, if he's faster, he hits me, and then I can Thunder Wave. And if I'm faster, my move doesn't do anything anyway, so I might as well Thunder Wave. I'm faster. Unfortunate. Bounce missed. Free turn. Fantastic. I'm going to just go for Discharge for the one shot. Please be a one shot. Gyarados is four times weak. The only issue is our special attack is not the best. Wow, it actually does tank that. And it has EQ. Oh my god, don't kill us. 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 Don't do not do it. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking dare. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Oh god. I called it though. I said, geez, we're fine as long as it doesn't have Earthquake. Or do, or do you think Gyarados has Earthquake? Or... I can't believe Discharge didn't kill, and I can't believe it actually had Earthquake. Oh my god, dude. 
Oh, fucking. Ugh. I need fresh pants. Flashbangs become one of my favorite mons. We're not doing the best so far this battle. We're basically one for one some shit. Drapion is a th motherfucker, isn't he? How the fuck do we fight a Drapion? He's got really good type combo as Poison Dark, right? <sighs> Only weakness is ground. Fuck me. Fighting types, I guess. I think this is a Lucario play because it takes out the poison moves at least. Yeah, this has to be Lucario. With luck, we're swapping into a poison move and not an earthquake. Fuck me, dude! Earthquake on, on the Drapion? Seriously? <sighs> Fucking two shots, us two. Okay, so Lady's not the answer here. We know it's not doing a poison move. It's all, it's gonna do Earthquake again. Um, so I guess we gotta go to Charizard or Brennan. Okay, Drapion, 9, 110 defense, 75 special. So we have to fight this with Charizard, right? Two shot it with Flamethrower, we get a free swap in on an Earthquake. That has to be the way this plays out. Maybe if we're lucky, one shot with Flamethrower, but I don't think we pull that off. Okay, free swap on the Earthquake is great. Yep, we go for Flamethrower. We, we get a burn here, which would be good. That's the play. It's special defense is significantly worse than its regular defense. Nobody else can fight this the way Charizard can. Solid, ah, uh, a berry, seriously? Shit. And it's got Aqua Tail? Are you fucking kidding me? What is this fucking coverage? That berry saves its fucking ass, too. It resists like everything Zara has or is immune. I don't know how we beat this now. Flamethrower was our best chance for a two shot and it didn't do it. We need chip damage on this from another source. But that other source almost assuredly dies. Seventy seven is actually more than half of our HP. We're in rough shape. This is a bad spot. This is not good. 77 is half of 154. Aqua Tail doesn't kill us if it doesn't crit. We can burn, we can crit ourselves. And if Tembo goes down, we can revenge kill here. Arrow does not take Aqua Tail as well as Tembo does. Puts us in the same situation of having to sack, potentially. The only other option is if we go Zara. Zara comes in on an Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail can also miss. Zara comes in on an Aqua Tail. It does a weak hit to chip away at Drapion, and then somebody else has to come in for the kill. I don't think it works. Also, we know this is a two shot, so if it gets into the healing loop, we can kill it. We have to just go for it. We have to hope Aqua Tail misses, doesn't crit, or whatever. We also might die to the damage roll, depending. Because maybe that was a low roll. But maybe it was a high roll and we're safe. Charizard's in this. Okay, so if he goes for the heal here, flame, we know Flamethrower's a two-shot, doesn't matter. Yes! Oh, that's so big. That's so big getting the Drapion dead here like this. Oh my god, that was going to fuck a day up. We had nothing else for this. We had no way to consistently kill this Drapion. Not with the berry on it like that. 
that was so brutal. That fucking berry, dude. I've never seen such a clutch citrus berry. Machamp. This is Zara. Uh, it might have a rock move for Zard. If it has a rock move for Zard, it's probably... Well, okay, Tembo's almost dead, so it actually might do like a random move or something. I'm not 100% sure, sure how the AI works. Let's go to Zara. I think Zara has to be the thing to fight this, because it's going to negate its stab moves at the very least. It does have Stone Edge, but we do have all our heals still. Holy fuck, that does a lot of damage. Okay, we gotta get a Hypnosis up on this. We just have to. Oh god, it's got Earthquake. Oh no. Please don't kill me. No, that's gonna be about as much damage as Stone Edge. We just died to the crit. Oh, thank fuck. Oh my god, we're so lucky. We're so fucking lucky, dude. Oh my god. This is so ridiculous. Come on, baby, kill it or get it close so we can kill with a priority move. Ooh, that's not a good range. That's not a good range at all. Do they have heals left? They might have heals left too. I think we gotta try for the Dream Eater. Okay, cool, he's still sleeping. Oh my God, this is huge. This is so good. This is so good right now. Oh man, that Machamp was fucking scary. I think he hit like a truck. <sighs> 49. Could definitely use the level up here. Wants their Dark Pulse. Um, do we actually want that? A dark move that's not Sucker Punch. It's really, well, it's the same damage as Sucker Punch. A little bit more because our special attack's better. I don't know, man. Dream Eater has been really good for us. No, we don't want to double down on dark type coverage, right? Because there are there's plenty of situations you get into where dark and ghost are both resisted, and having access to psychic's been good for that reason. I think we throw it back. I don't know. Or do we take Dark Pulse over Sucker Punch? Is that... Am I talking crazy? How often... Oh, man, that's a tough one. You know what? That might be the play. That might be the play. I gotta... I need a second opinion on this. Ooh, Dark Pulse flinches. Oh, man. Oh, that was not helpful at all. The problem is there's a lot of, um, a lot of good other moves. Like a lot of mons have non-attacking moves. And especially against Spirit Tomb, they tend to go for them because Spirit Tomb doesn't have a weakness. They never see like one shots on it all the time. And we've been missing a lot of sucker punches recently. We just really have been missing a lot of sucker punches. But then there's shit like Zam. Is Zam's physical defense a lot worse than its special? Because if that's the case, we're trading an Alakazam counter away by switching to Dark Pulse. Mm, this is a such a tough situation. Yeah, special defense 85, defense 45. 
I think we have to keep Sucker Punch. I think if we do get rid of anything, it's got to be Dream Eater that goes. I mean, we can always we can always just Hypnosis and actually heal. We get three heals per battle. Fuck, man, this is so tough. I think we gotta do it. We can always get Dream Eater back if Dark Pulse isn't paying dividends. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not sure about this. Ooh, nice. 249s. It's good to see. Uh, no fuck fire spin. Ooh. Ooh, a Sizor. Oh, shit. Tembo's down. We got a... Let's see what it wants to do while we heal up Charizard. First heal of the battle, right? Oh, fuck you. Dude, 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 dude. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. Zard is faster. Zard's got this. It's fine. It's fine. It's not going to do a rock move to kill Zard. Zard has got this. Zard's got this. Fuck you, you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Doesn't matter if you do bullet punch or some shit with fucking technician, we resist. Bullet punch, don't care, we resist that shit. We fucking resist that all day. It doesn't matter that you swords dance twice. Holy shit, it almost does though. The crit, we would have survived the crit, but with another swords dance, even the crit might have been lethal there. And it dies. Like, even if it doesn't die, we kill it with a second one, but it dies. It's dead. Okay, that was the right call to make there. Oh my god, they're so fucking. A sizer with double fucking swords dances. Scary as fuck, dude. Houndoom. Arrow? Probably arrow here. Problem is, if it has a rock move, it's doing a rock move. But it's not gonna be stab, and it's not, it's a special attacker, not a physical attacker. Arrow should shred this. This should be safe. This should be a si relatively safe swap and a guaranteed kill. Sunny day. Irrelevant, because he's just gonna die. There's no way he's faster than us, right? He doesn't have fucking chlorophyll. He just dies here. We never find out what he's setting up for, because he just dies here, right? He just dies here, right? Right? Oh my god, he's fucking alive. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, a sash. That's one times effective. Can we take it? Please let us take a solar beam. That's 1x effectiveness. Come on, baby. It's not stab. Come on, baby. That was a crit. That was even a crit. It didn't fucking matter. Holy shit. That's all you got, bitch? That's all you fucking got from me, Archer? You ain't got shit, dude. Get the fuck out of here, scrub ass motherfucker. Aw, oh, dude. That's so good. That's so fucking good. Safe kill, there's nothing he can do to us. We killed him that time. We killed him that time, so it was like a low roll. <sighs> we did it. All three bosses, no deaths. Oh my god. Oh, and that's an hour. So then we'll get our... Uh, does this... Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. What? Wait, 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 wait. Fucking, where's the walkthrough? Go back to the walkthrough. What the fuck? Wait. This is, oh, he's not in the walkthrough, right? Archer? It's not on, like, the next path, right? A moment later, the director arrives. He gives you a thing. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a Dreano thing. He's going to fight us. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We got to fight Giovanni. Forty-eight Persian. We gotta go for the setup. At least we don't have any dead mons. Did it? Did it heal? Farrakhan was hurt, right? Okay, free heal. Okay, we can do this with a free heal. With a free heal, we're fine. We're fine with a. Okay. This ain't Kaizo. So we go for the setup. Okay, fake out. Whatever. Ugh. Still go for the setup. It's faster, which is pretty shit. And that was not a crit. That slash might have killed. Shit, it's faster, so we can't actually... We can't... Oh, fuck. Why's it got to be faster, dude? I mean, it is a Persian. We've seen two normal moves. We could just go into Spirit Tomb. Farrakhan's out of commission for this fight, then. I'd at least like to kill the Persian with Friar Tuck. <sighs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Fucking, fucking, fucking Friar Tuck and fuck. Persian. Please be paper. Sixty defense, sixty-five HP. We've gotten in one bulk up. Do you think it has a priority move? Do you think a priority move kills us? It has fake out, so fake out maybe it's priority move. I'm going for the mock punch. This is a Dreano exclusive battle. It's gonna be tough. I bet you fucking anything. Ooh, you know what? He's got a Persian. That's from the fucking his actual team. Do you think he has his full actual team? Like Kangaskhan, Nidoking, Nidoqueen? Please kill, please kill, please kill. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. That's okay then, yeah. It's okay if Friartuck takes all that damage if he actually gets the kill. Oh, fuck me, he's got a Nidoking. How do we fight a Nidoking? He does have his team then. Okay, 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 okay. We're so vulnerable to Earthquake. Do you think it has rock moves? New King's got amazing coverage. It's gonna have TMs and, and shit. The only thing we can say for sure is it has Earthquake here, right? Which means we can't go to Flashbang. We can't go to Lady. These are, these are options of Zara, Tembo, and Brennan. Um, Nido King learns, like, Ice Beam and shit. Does it learn, like, full Bolt Beam or only Ice Beam? And then it probably learns, like, Fire Blast and shit, maybe? I'm really scared of a fucking Nido King, man. Not gonna lie. Defenses are basically the same. We just got rid of our psychic move on Zara too, so we can't beat this with Dream Eater. Oh, we have no ground coverage in our team. It's weak to ice. It's weak to water. It's weak to psychic and ground. I don't know if Ice Fang on Arrow would kill this. I doubt it. It's just not quite there. And it's got such good moveset to counter us with, potentially. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, Gen 4, Arid, we're looking at Earth Power, Thrash, Poison Sting, Double Kick. A bunch of trash. So what we're really interested in is the TMs. We're looking at Ice Beam, Blizzard. We're looking at Thunder, it has Bolt Beam. Thunderbolt, Thunder, Earthquake. Shadow Ball, Brick Break, it has Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Shockwave. The TM pool for Needle King is just completely ridiculous. Focus Blast, Dragon Pulse, Avalanche. It could have anything. Poison Jab. 
Let's assume Earthquake for sure, obviously. There's no reason Middle King wouldn't have Earthquake. Let's assume it's got a set that's pretty competitive. So probably Bolt Beam. I think Bolt Beam is a fairly logical assumption to make. So if we're facing down Bolt Beam, um, Charizard, what do you do here? We also have to consider his other mods. So I think at this point we can say pretty safely that it's his team. Because um, we've seen the Persian, we've seen the Nidoking. So we, it's going to be um, Kangaskhan and Nidoqueen. And what else does he have? A Rhydon? Wow. Do you, I don't want a Pokemon Go. Fuck out of here, that trash. I want Bulbedia, damn it. Yeah, so there'll be a Rhydon. Rhydon we can fight with uh, in a Dugtrio, maybe. Mm -hmm. Dugtrio, Dugtrio might be an easy kill with a Flyer. Uh, there could be an Onyx because of Pokemon Yellow. He always, he like always has a Rhydon though. So Rhydon we fight with Lapras. Needle Queen, we'll figure that out. Probably whatever we use to counter it with Needle King if it's still healthy enough. <sighs> I think it has, might has to be might have to be Charizard, which is gonna be sketchy as fuck. Are we is Ice One X for Charizard? Weak to Rock, Water, and Electric. Ooh, the, we're weak to Thunderbolt. We might be able to take a Thunderbolt. This is so tough. It's not Flash, it's not Lady. It could be Zara. It could be Tembo. It could be Brennan. No, it's not Brennan. If we assume Bolt Beam, Brennan's out because Ice Beam will, four shot, will kill him with 4x. So at least with Zara and Tembo. Zara takes an Earthquake on a swap in, or a hit on a swap in, guaranteed. Tembo has a chance to dodge Earthquake, but is it going to Earthquake when I'm at 50? I don't know. It probably kills us with anything, so we probably can't make any assumptions about what it's going to do, right? So is the play to go to Zara and try to sleep it? It might be the only thing we can do. I think we have to try and fight it with Zara and go for sleep. Because I don't think we can say for sure it's actually going to go Earthquake. And if we can't say for sure it's going to go Earthquake, we can't swap in Zard. Made the right call on Ice Beam. That's not bad damage. That's not bad damage. We can fight through this. We just gotta land a Hypnosis. Unless we go for Dark Pulse. Do you think Dark Pulse two shots this? Also, are we faster than a Nido King? I'm gonna go for the Hypnosis. Cause that allows us to react the most to what else he does next. He's faster, goes for EQ. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And he gets the crit. He gets the crit. We haven't seen Bolt. Fuck me. He got the crit. We haven't seen Bolt. We know it's Ice Beam. I think we have to go with Zard here, and maybe it doesn't have Bolt. If it doesn't have Bolt, Zard's pretty good. Now that Spirit Tomb's dead, I don't know what else we can fucking do. At least we're faster. We could get a burn. A burn would be amazing. Well, I guess not if it's Bolt. If he has Bolt, a burn is not amazing. Clean two shot? Ooh, that was a crit. He has Bolt. Don't kill us. Don't kill us. Don't kill us. If you don't kill us, we can still beat you. It's not stab. It's not stab. It's not stab. Okay. 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 Yeah, it uses a fucking full restore. So the hypnosis wouldn't have done enough probably because we probably wouldn't have gotten the kill we know this doesn't two shot unless that was a bad roll on the crit okay this kills from that range this has to kill that was like fucking 70 percent okay that's done Wow, 
Wow, five attack. Damn, dude. Ooh, Spore. Um, so we definitely go for Spore. Probably cuts Bullet Seed out now. Because that gives us our Sleep, our Setup, our Heal, and then our other part of our Sweep package where Speed doesn't matter. Yeah, we have to replace Bullet Seed. There's the Rhyperior. We fight this with Lantern. It's probably going to go with a Rock move. Lantern takes that. We didn't heal this battle, right? No, we came in with Breloom. We took big hits. We just had to go for it. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That actually kills? I mean, it's stab, but oh my god, the fucking crits this battle are killing us. We can go Friar Tuck, Spore. It sleeps, we bulk up, and then we die if it wakes up. I think we go Friar Tuck. We Spore, we go for Drain Punch. We probably need two to kill it. It's a chance to heal Friar Tuck up cleanly. This battle is so fucking hard. We're having such bad fucking luck, too. <sighs> Two fucking crits. Please sleep. Please stay asleep next round so that I can just drain punch you again. Wow, that's so marginal. Oh no. He has a berry. Oh, fuck me, dude. I think we swap to Lady. We go for the focus or the, the special move kill. Because we're not going to kill it this turn. So if we get the sleep turn, we still want to be in on Lady either way. Okay, free swap to Lady. She should kill because its special defense is going to be much worse than its normal defense, right? Just as a rule with a rock ground type and, a, and any of the Gen 1 lines, even though it's a Gen 4 Mon, it's going to be soft. It's going to die. Okay, a crit. Could have mattered. Could have mattered. I have no idea if it did. Two, three mons left? How is it still three mons left at this point? Oh my god. Um, Nido King, Nido Queen's going for an earthquake. I think we have to fight this with Arrow. If Arrow doesn't two shot this, I don't know what we do. It's gonna earthquake. It has earthquake for sure. There's no reason it wouldn't have earthquake, and it's no reason it wouldn't earthquake here. Protect. Interesting. Is it Toxic Stall? It could be Toxic Stall. Do we Ice Fang the Needle Queen? A chance to miss, but also a chance to freeze and flinch. Might be the thing we need to win. Problem is we're locked into it. Resist rock. Yeah, so the only other option is crunch or fly, and fly has the same problem as ice fang, so it's better off just to go ice fang. Protect spam. Yep, do that. Protect spam again, please. Just spam protect indefinitely. Come on, freeze or flinch. 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 Please fucking freeze or flinch. Two shot, maybe? Barely? Toxic. Fine. Whatever. Toxic stall, you fucking piece of shit. So we know Earthquake, Toxic, um, and Protect. So it's got one other move. Hopefully not Ice Beam. 
If it had Ice Beam, you think it would have went for it. Come on, Ice Fang. Get there, Ice Fang. Nice freebie turn. Freebie turn on the Protect. So we got this. We got a dead. Unless we miss Ice Fang. Even if this doesn't kill. My heart is pounding so fucking hard right now. This is so sketchy. We gotta get Arrow out of here. It's locked into Ice Fang and it's taking so much fucking damage. Kangaskhan. It's not gonna Earthquake. Going to Lady. <sighs> lady should be a good swap. So what's the last slot gonna be? Like Onyx, Steelix? Some wild card? Kangaskhan is um, even split, fairly bulky, even split on defenses. So we just go, we just go for the the main move here on Lady. It probably has EQ. <sighs> nice sucker punch turn, fantastic. We're faster, which is vital. If we're within death range of sucker punch, we have to swap. It has EQ. It's not stab. Oh my god. Does Sucker Punch kill us? Okay, EQ did 100 damage. Which makes Sucker Punch do less than 50. I think we go for the Aura Sphere expecting a heal. No, we just get the kill. Okay, that's fine too. That's fucking fine. Yep, I'm okay with that. There's the crit, would've been nice other, on the other turn. Tauros, another Mon with Earthquake. Brennan might, okay, swap into Brennan, dodge the Earthquake, attack, take a hit from it. Find out what move it's gonna do. Probably a normal move, try to swap somebody else in after that. I don't know, fuck dude. Lady's not in a position to take hits. We might have to make a fucking sacrifice here, honestly. Who do I want? If it comes down to it, do I kill Brennan or do I kill Charizard? Kembo or Brennan? We have Rapidash in the back. Arrow's probably weaker in the long run. I think we have to go arrow. I think it makes sense tactically to go arrow, and I think it makes sense in the long run to go arrow. I think arrow is the only one who can maybe take a hit from Tauros. If it has a physical move, a normal type, say it has earthquake and normal type moves, Brennan may survive a normal move because of its rock typing. We still have heals, but it's just like there's no opportunity. I could throw in Charizard and heal him. Zard in on the Earthquake, and then we pop a heal. I just, I can't remember if we healed this battle. It's been such a fucking nail biter. We go Zard, we go heal. The safety swap, earthquake coming in, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Hyper potion on Zard. I mean, I know we did a hyper potion recently. I just can't remember if this battle or the last battle. 
Okay, I'm gonna count that as one heal. If I used four, I used... Oh, fuck, he has Stone Edge. Zard... Zard has a berry. Zard still has a berry, right? Right, 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 right. Zard has a berry. We survive a Stone Edge. We go for a two-shot Flamethrower kill. It's the play. We're faster, so we kill in two shots. We take the Stone Edge. We survive. It can't flinch us. It could miss. It's the play. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, that's so marginal. Oh, that's so marginal. That might not be a two-shot. If that's not a two-shot, we're fucking done. It's over. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Just don't crit. Okay. We have to go for the kill. We just have to. Heart of the cards. Flamethrower kills. It has to kill. It has to fucking kill. It has to fucking kill. We got this. We got this. Come on. Dead, dead, dead. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill that fucking cap. Your fucking hamburger, bitch. <sighs> Two deaths. Two major, major, major deaths to Giovanni. Fuck it. Fuck. We have no water types left. <sighs> I literally don't have a full team. The only mon we have in the box that's actually up to level is Rapidash. Weezing's close, but that is that is devastating. That took years off my fucking life. I haven't been paying any attention to his dialogue. <sighs> okay, he gave us the silver wind, silver wing. I'm, I'm so fucking out of it at this point. Oh my God. That battle was probably our hardest one yet, I feel like. I feel like we played that really well too. Just like the, t ugh. His levels are fucking high, too. Basically level cap levels. Uh, DJ Mary on fourth floor gives us a bright powder in base game, and the girl on third floor gives us a sunny day? Okay, good to know. Um, we'll get our items, and we'll just call it here. Um, so, yeah, the team is in shambles. Uh, Flashbang and Zara are both immense losses to the team. Flashbang was such a fucking godsend here in the mid game. And Zara has been an MVP the entire run. Oh man. Zara's a bad loss for the, the Dragon Gym too. Maybe we'll, on, honestly, maybe we should take a quick peek at the box before we end this episode. You know what? No, no, it's fine. Ah, uh, shit, what floor am I on? Fifth floor was Ariana, so this is fourth floor with Proton? No, this is third floor. Is this the person that gives us stuff? Yes, so this is Sunny Day in base game, and it is Sunny Day in this game. Let's talk to everybody else. They might have some other items in the mod hack. Some other rewards. Oh, was the director kidnapped the entire game? Was it always a Team Rocket imposter in charge? Huh. Uh, is it you that gives me? I want that bright powder. Where, where's this bright powder? Fourth floor is DJ Mary. Ooh, so we had to go up another floor? Waiting for this poison to go away. Yeah, is this Mary? Yep. Okay. Bright powder, good to have. 
Sprite Powder is a good thing on like a Suicide Mon. It might be a good thing for our Glalie going into the Dragon Gym if we train up a Glalie. Which, given the decimation that our team just uh, suffered, probably means I bring a Glalie up for sure for the Dragon Gym. Because we really don't want to risk Mons like Breloom. Can you give me a Master Ball? Can I get a Master Ball after all that shit? I didn't even see what she said. I wasn't even looking. It was clearly nothing, though. Okay, let's take a quick look at the box, actually. We will do this this episode. It was a uh, Lantern that died first. Death 16 and Death 17. All right, so... Um, dragons. Ah, uh, we're expecting flying moves. So Breloom is out. 49. We'll leave him in the team for now. Um, oh my god, these guys are so close to level cap too. That's really a problem. God damn it, that's really rough. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna train up Shuckle for the gym. Probably just for the team in general to bring it into the Elite Four. It's gonna take a bit of grinding here today between episodes. Um, and then I think we'll train up Snow Runt as well for the, the Dragon Gym. We'll see what our, yeah, we'll see what our encounters are first. Before I commit to Snow Run, for sure. But I definitely want Shuckle. Yeah, plus defense minus speed. That's so good. Um, and then I guess we could just grab Rapidash. Um, I guess we'll grab Tiffany. And I'll get her up to speed between episodes. Her coverage is a little bit better than just having an extra fire type in the team. Maybe she'll learn Sludge Bomb soon. All right. Well, until next time, that was a doozy. That was a long episode, too.